I'm waiting on the song, bro. You you supposed to do that song. this day that you are ever present about us there is not a moment that we need to fear nor fret and father you have promised us a place with you you have told us not to fear for even in death we live and father we know that this day that uh, uh, our sister is with you she is present and all of her needs are being met but Father, we pray this day for the family and for those that are yet this side. Father, we ask that you would comfort them, that your arms would be about them, that you would give them the peace that passeth all understanding. Father, be with the family and the friends. Guide them through the next few days and through the rest of their lives this side. And Father, I pray now May you guide in this service today. May you bless us and watch over us. Give us your grace today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Our Father, 
who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Reading of the 23rd Psalm. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Just as I am without one plea, but that thy blood was shed for me, and that thou bidst me come to thee, O thou of God, I come. Just as I am and waiting not to rid my soul of one dark blood to thee whose blood can cleanse each spot, O Lamb of God, I come. I Just as I thought a few short days ago of my mother and how much she meant to us and felt that she was the greatest woman that ever lived, I know too, that is in y'all's hearts as well. But you know where your mama is, she's with the Lord. 
She talked about Jesus often and she suffered for a long time in a body that would bend and contort her. That would torture her. She's not in that anymore. We come today to celebrate a life. Not a life that has passed, but a life that is being lived even yet now. But Linda was not able to do much of the things that she would have wished to do. She was confined. She's no longer confined. She's been given a new body. And she's going about and doing things that she was never able to do here. All of her sorrows, all of her pains have vanished away and she is being comforted. She is in the Lord's arms now. Let us remember that and let us find comfort in that. The scriptures tell us, Now this I say, brethren, that flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God. Neither doth corruption inherit incorruption. Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed. In a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trump, for the trumpet shall sound and the dead shall be raised incorruptible, and we shall be changed. For this corruptible must put on incorruption, and this mortal must put on immortality. So when this corruptible shall have put on incorruption, and this mortal shall have put on immortality, then shall be brought to pass the saying that is written, Death is swallowed up in victory. O death, where is thy sting? O grave, where is thy victory? The sting of death is sin, and the strength of sin is the law. But thanks be to God, which giveth us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, my beloved brethren, be ye steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, forasmuch as ye know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. For our light of affliction is but for a moment, worketh for us a far more exceeding and eternal weight of glory while we look not at the things which are seen, but at the things which are not seen. For the things which are seen are temporal, but the things which are not seen, they are eternal. For we know that if our earthly house of this tabernacle were dissolved, we have a building of God, a house not made with hands, eternal in the heavens. Our Lord Jesus Christ, spoke and told the apostles not to fear, not to be afraid. He said, I go, but if I go, I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go to prepare a place for you, I will return and receive you unto myself. Linda, or Aunt Faye, as I knew her, and many of the rest here today, she is with the Lord today. She's in his hands, in his house. She had made the arrangements way early on. And the house was prepared for her. And if she were here today and she could tell you anything, it would be to make sure that your house is ready. Because none of us know what tomorrow brings. But I can assure you, if you ever want to see Linda again, come to know the Savior that she knew. And that is our Lord Jesus Christ. For he hath made a way for us. And I encourage you today to make that a point in your life. That you not only receive him, but that you live for him. She knew him. And you know, I look forward and I know that uh, there was a great celebration in glory the other day. <coughs> As Papa and Sally, and I could go on down the list of all the brothers and sisters. But they're all rejoicing today, sitting at the table. A family reunion. Let us look forward to that day. Let us shun the things of the grave because we're not here to say goodbye. And y'all, many of you have heard me say it many times before. I like the old saying, fare thee well. It's not goodbye. For I will see you again someday. 
And until I see you, may you do well. And I know that she is doing well. So fare thee well, my sister, fare thee well. We will see you again someday. Eddie, Brian, JC, hold that in your hearts. Look to one another and don't let things and time separate you. You see her in each of you. And you hold a piece of her in your hearts and you always will. But one day, we will all be together again if we hold the, the Jesus that she knew. I assure you of that. Now, unto the mercies of Almighty God, we commend the soul of our departed sister and commit her unto the keeping of the Lord, earth to earth, ashes to ashes, dust to dust in the sure and certain hope of the resurrection from the dead through Jesus Christ our Lord. Blessed are the dead which die in the Lord from henceforth. Yea, saith the Spirit, that they may rest from their labors and their works do follow them. Let us pray. Almighty God, who by the death of your Son, Jesus Christ, has destroyed death, and by his rest in the tomb has sanctified the graves of the saints, and by his glorious resurrection has brought life and immortality to light. We humbly thank you for the victory over death and the grave which he has obtained for us and for all who have died in him. Keep us in everlasting fellowship with all who wait for you and in union with him who is the resurrection and the life, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, ever one God, forever and ever. Amen. May God bless you. May he keep you. May he smile upon you. To the family, may he comfort you and give you the peace that passeth all understanding in these days ahead. God bless you all. Go.
God's praise Then when we first begun Amazing words How sweet the that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now I'm was blind but now I see Amen The Lord is good as we go forth in this place today let us go forth praising God for all of the memories that He gives us and that He has given us. The joys, even the sorrows. For these are all things that draw us closer to one another and bind us together as people. Let us praise Him for the joys that were shared with Linda. God bless you.